All right, I'm back with another review. This one's a little unconventional. Sorry for the shakiness. The table was moving. Um, <laughs> um, so Real Housewives of Miami, um, this is season eight. I forgot to check. Um, this has been a good season so far. This season, we are on a journey with Gertie who has um, cancer. I think she has breast cancer. Um, She's already had one surgery. She has to do another, and then she's gonna start her chemo. Um, we're meeting Larsa and her boyfriend, Marcus. They're very annoying. Actually, Larsa's annoying, just cause she seemed to not, like can't not be around the man. Um, Lisa Hochstein is going through a divorce with her husband of, I think almost 15 years. Um, <clears throat> We have Julia getting back into the modeling industry, um, which is harder for women of a certain age. She was a model in her younger years. Um, I think she looks fabulous though, to be honest. Um, and then we have Nicole. Nicole to me doesn't really have a storyline this season. I know she wants to have a baby and I know she's pregnant in real life right now. Um, and then we have Adriana who's doing her music thing, killing it. She's a friend of the show. Same with Marisol, um, same shit with Marisol, her and her cockies, her cockies. And then we have Alexia doing her thing. Alexia has no storyline this season either. Um, so this most recent episode was interesting. So they're in Mexico City right now, um, vacationing for I think a week or so. And actually this is Gertie's last week of like freedom and she can drink because she, as soon as she returns back home to Miami, she's um, she's gonna be getting her, she has to start chemo. Um, so she's getting her party on, her drink on, doing her thing. So in the episode, we are, Adriana is going to be performing at Mexico City's Pride Celebration, which is huge. I forget what song she's gonna sing. I actually like her music, her music's not bad. Um, but I wanna talk about this boat ride with Lisa. So let's talk about Lisa for a minute. So Lisa's, Lisa's husband cheated on her with a woman that's much younger than her. And now he moved out of their huge mansion um, that he's currently trying to kick her out of. And um, he's, I believe he's renting an apartment or bought an apartment somewhere or a condo. And he's staying there with the now, the new, the new chick. So this whole season, it's been her and him going back and forth. They're having a very contentious divorce too. It's um, it's not good because they have two little kids. Um, and I think their oldest is like seven or eight, the boy. Um, and then Elle, the daughter, I think is like three or four, something like that. It also doesn't help that Lenny's mother, um, you know, is in on the divorce and adding her to and She's always been problematic. If you go back and watch the earlier seasons of, um, Real Housewives of Miami, Lenny's mom is a hot mess. Um, but here's my thing with Lisa. Lisa, unfortunately, married a man with a lot more money than her and has had to depend on this man most of her adult life. And now that he wants to divorce her, he ain't trying to give her nothing. He's fighting her tooth and nail on everything. So in this separation, she is with dating this other dude, and I can't think of his name right now. I just, name just, damn, it's gonna drive me crazy. Anyway, so they're on this boat ride in Mexico and it's kind of like a gondola and they're eating and um, they start talking about um, the divorce. So basically Lisa and Lenny come to an agreement that um, he's going to, I think, build her another house for her and the kids. And um, one of the, um, I guess uh, stipulations for the settlement is that she can't have a man live with her. That's insane. That's absolutely insane. I can't believe she agreed to that. But like the ladies have been trying to tell her cause Lisa spends money like water. Apparently in one of the episodes they find out Lenny leaks to the um, gossip, gossip blogs and all that, that she spends $10,000 a month on Instacart orders. She has no concept of money. And even when she was going to look at other houses and condos, she's looking at shit that's like $5 million and up. And they're trying to tell her in a nice way because if you know Lisa, Lisa does not take criticism very well. 
She doesn't take suggestions very well. She gets very defensive. Um, and um, I kind of feel bad for her current guy that she's dating because it seems like all she talks about is Lenny. And the ladies tried to tell her that and she didn't receive it well. And then at one point in one of the episodes, they were like, Larsa, you're the closest with her. You got to talk to her about how she handles her relationship and how she handles her budgeting. Because I think the ladies genuinely care about Lisa and want to see her do well, considering all of them in the crew, I think except for Gertie, um, have all gone through a divorce. So um, they're all trying to give her like solid feedback and she doesn't seem to, she doesn't seem to receive it, unfortunately. So they're on this boat ride. They're talk She's telling them about this, this contract and they're like, you're crazy to sign that. What, what, what does he care if you have a man live with them? Blah, 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 blah. So Larsa, who's blunt as hell, a bull in a china shop, that Larsa, she she says to Lisa, she says, you know what, you would be, if, you're, if your current boyfriend, I cannot remember the guy's name right now, if your current boyfriend left you, you'd be screwed, basically. And Lisa's like, what? And she was like, you would. And she goes, because she goes, I'm not going to lie. She was not to be mean, but you know, you're kind of a lot. And she is a lot. She's high maintenance. Um, she's very, she calls her needy. That's right. She says she's needy and she's like, well, that wasn't very nice, Larsa. So they kind of get into a back and forth and, um, that kind of settles. So then at one point they're, they're riding down this river and they notice these like shanty houses where, you know, people, you know, poor people live and they're all kind of reflecting on that and privileged women kind of saying like, oh, that's terrible. You know, and they cut to Kiki, who I love. I think Kiki is absolutely sunny. Kiki grew up in Haiti. So in her confessional, she's like, these ladies are so privileged. They don't know what they're talking about. I grew up like this. My mother grew up like this. My mother's mother grew up like this. You know, just because they live in those houses doesn't mean that those people aren't happy. And the ladies were, you know, implying that they weren't happy, which shows the ignorance of um, knowledge and the ignorance of maybe wealth sometimes. That some people are just so out of touch. They... You know, just because you have a shit ton of money doesn't make you happy. Look at Lisa. She got all that all that wealth and fortune and, you know, designer labels. And she's going through a horrible divorce and um, doesn't seem happy at all. Doesn't seem happy in any episode, to be honest. So as they're, you know, continuing down the river past these houses, these like shanty homes, they notice there's dogs out there. And they're like, oh, the dogs look hungry and dirty, blah, blah, blah. So Lisa takes chicken that they're eating and starts throwing it onto land from the boat. Very offensive. And the ladies are like, don't do that. So even the, the, the guy stirring their boat says to them in Spanish, like the people that own those dogs feed them. You don't have to do that. So Kiki tells Lisa to stop. So Lisa gets defensive. She's like, I'm just throwing chicken. It's better than what they normally eat. So they get into an argument back and forth. Kiki's like, how do you know what they eat? And she's like, well, I'm saying, Lisa's like, well, I'm saying dog food, you know, and I'm giving them chicken. So they get into an argument. It gets heated. Lisa stands up. Kiki stands up. And I think Kiki throws like a plastic cup at her or something. And then Lisa gets into full, full Karen microaggressive mode. That's assault. You don't throw stuff at people. That is assault. Blah, 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 blah. So big old argument. And then she's like, I want to get off the boat. Blah, 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 blah. Um, and then we cut to Adriana's performance and it kind of ends there in the episode. Good episode, great season so far. Lisa, I think Lisa is gonna have a rude awakening about her, her divorce. I think that she doesn't know anything about finances. Um, I do feel bad for the guy she's currently dating because I feel like, I just feel like he's filler for right now. And I just think she's severely out of touch and I wish she would stop getting plastic surgery. I saw a picture of her before all the plastic surgery. Lisa, you were gorgeous. I mean, you're cute now, but Lisa, you didn't need to do all that. You did not need to do all that. Anyway, um, I'm gonna start covering The Real Housewives of Miami. When I started doing all of this, um, it was already in the middle of the season, so I didn't think it was necessary, but it's giving. This season's been really good. And this is low-key one of my favorite franchises. Um, it's just aesthetically beautiful to look at. I really like the ladies. Um, like, share, and subscribe.